Well, unfortunately I lost about 20 minutes of carving. Um, for some reason the camera just shut off and I don't know why. So as you watch me do some of the finish sanding there in the corner here, um, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit how I used my carving table to secure the wood to it. First off, uh, I, I have a video showing how I built this table. It's a, a fairly simple build. And I have a bunch of holes that I drilled in at regular intervals. In fact, I still have the marks on here, as you can see. And what I did is I ran some string, some rope, up through. And all I did to secure it is I tied it fairly tight here. I have to say that this, this uh, string, this rope, is clothesline rope, so it stretches a little bit. And that's actually a good thing because it helps bind it in. And I just do an overhand knot like you would tie your shoes with uh, two half quick releases here. And th then what I do to make it secure, because it's not very secure right now, is I have some wedges that I had built. And what I do is I take them on the back side and I secure them in there and pound them in. And all I have to do is just push them in. And now it gets really nice and tight. And do the same thing on the top one. And now this isn't going anywhere. And I can safely carve on here. It doesn't move. The table's nice and sturdy. And uh, I have no problems with that. So I thought that worked out very, very nicely for carving. Here's the finished piece. My, uh, it's only the second green man I've ever done. Not uh, a full green man like you've seen where there's um, leaves all over. Uh, I'm still pretty new at this. And uh, I know there's some things I could have done better on it. But overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. I like the way the eyes turned out. I like the way the uh, leaves uh, for the beard turned out. Uh, I wish I would have done a little bit differently up here on the forehead, but overall, I think it really turned out nicely. There is a crack in the cheek here because this is green wood that I used to carve. And when green wood is drying, especially in the log form, oftentimes you'll end up getting uh, cracks from the the stress that's created when it dries out. But that's okay, um, now that I've got some boiled linseed oil on here, it should limit the amount of cracking that's, that goes on as it dries the rest of the way. So, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support.